Alright everybody and welcome! Uh, this isn't the how to make a Frankenmesh chair thing like I was planning it to be, but uh, I'm, I'm going to work on that soon. I just wanted to show you guys something really, really quick, because there are some things that you may want to use like uh, the that are considered accessory pieces, but you can't access them normally through the workshop or through CT. Well, I, I don't know, maybe CT you can get to them. I've only worked with workshops, so I'm only basing my experience off of it. So, if there's something in the game you want to use, you would need to. Let's see. Um, you would need to try to copy it. So, the object cloner here, the, the, the gorgeous thing that this is, can open it up. So, we're gonna. First thing you'd want to do is open a package. But, you can't. Some of it, uh. Dang it, I've already lost my train of thought. Um, let's say there's something that you want in university life, like I wanted the suitcase. You need, would need to go to game data, shared, packages. Now you can't open it straight away. So what you've got to do is you've got to go back in, copy it, and then paste it somewhere you can easily get a hold of it. I placed the copy, oof, in here. And magic! It works! Let's see, maybe, can I have it go back? Yes! And, um, hmm. I think I was going to the keys. Maybe it's in suitcase vintage then? Oh come on, I know you're here! There it is. Now it'll start initializing tabs. Gotta give it a moment. <sighs> there we go. Now we gotta clone or fix it. We just enable compression, create a clone, start, and then save it to where you want it to be. In this case, I have named it suitcase and put it in there. Once you've got that copied out, then you can close that, open up your workshop. Bumped up. Waiting and waiting, 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 and waiting, waiting. Just gotta wait. <sighs> now then, we're going to create a new project and we're going to select a new import. We're going to browse and select. That tell it to select package and then click it. Next, next, okay. Now it'll sometimes do this. Tell it to ignore the error and attempt to continue. Don't send. And there you have it. You have the mesh you you may have wanted to get. Because I need the suitcase to make this dang chair. Because it's the only one that looks thick enough. Look at it, it's so chunky. But, uh, anyhow, all you'd have to do is then just, well, I guess you can export everything as usual, but here is everything. But wait, I hear you cry. What if you needed one of the textures? Especially if you can't get it from this thing. Once you get the mesh for it, you can, no, because I've already exported the mesh. You would need to go into S3PE. 
and we're gonna go new import and package suitcase open import no and scroll down now anything that says image right here is what you're looking for and just scroll go, just click through until you find the ones you need like this is the mask I'm guessing that's the specular there's the multi and here is the overlay but this is the one you would need all you would need to do is let's see save as DDS and then bam there it is well you'd have to you know, save it as you normally would but I've already got it there and you could try to export from here but it would only export it as package files that's really not what you want but yeah that's basically how you do it that's how you rip something forcibly from the game when you can't find it via workshop so I, I hope that's helpful because I'm sure quite a few of you have wanted something or to uh, make something. Actually, that's something interesting. Uh, I'll cover it later. Uh, I will see everybody later, so TTFN everybody, happy simming.